Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at an Xbox, original Xbox. Functions fine. Power's on. Boots up to the Xbox dashboard. So the plan today is to open the sucker up and replace the CPU with a 1.4 gigahertz CPU. So for those of you that don't know, um, you basically, CPU's over here, you lift it off, and you replace it with an Intel CPU. So these guys use like these Intel mobile CPUs. So you put an interposer, a bunch of resistors, solder that on. And then you put an Intel 1.4 gigahertz CPU. I'll leave a link to everything down below, basically on, on that interposer and that makes it work with the console. It's good for like emulation and other stuff. For retail games, I believe you have to patch um, or else they run funky. And I think it also might be useful if you're using one of them make megahertz HDMI chips. It might be useful with the 720p out thing. Um, but nevertheless, basically what we're gonna do in this video is open this guy up put it on my reball machine, remove CPU clean, put interposer, put chip, and hopefully it all works. So yeah, that's the plan for today, pretty straightforward. So we're just gonna get to doing that. Sorry for not recording much, but as you see in the last shot, um, 
I reballed the interposer onto the board, so I use 0.76 uh, leaded balls. So these guys. Basically, it's in a little tube. Um, got that on, and what you're seeing here is this Kapton tape I used to make sure that it's lined up. So it's kind of crooked, but that's how it has to be. So I used this side and the top, and I basically taped the top of the motherboard, side of the motherboard, and then the same for the interposer to make sure it lines properly. It seems like it reballed fine, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, from there, I didn't shoot any of it, but I had to put down each one of these resistors and capacitors. Um, I'm missing an oscillator, a voltage regulator over there, I think, and a three more 1K resistors. So like, I'll leave a link to all of it, but essentially like, this is N64's GitHub, and it's like a lot. Um, I have like a whole bag of different stuff that you basically have to solder to each point. And then once you do that, so this is how the bottom side looked when you saw me do it. Uh, that's the motherboard that you saw me clean. And then I had to do a voltage, so I'm on a revision 1.2 to 1.4, so I just had to remove this 1K, replace it with a 1.5K, and... I installed the adapter, which you saw. Basically, I'm on this step. <laughs> um, so I'm not installing a 1.4, I have a 1.2, and you might be thinking, why the hell do you have a 1.2? I bought it a while ago, and I'm not sure if this is gonna work, so I just thought that would be the cheapest choice to go. So basically, I'm gonna have to order the parts I'm missing. Once we get that, we'll come back and we'll put on some solder paste. So solder paste has to go on each and every single one of these little um dots that you see the pads chip goes on top goes back on the machine that you saw and then we'll floor back on and hopefully it works also my uh it wasn't severely messed up but um this is the clock cap for, for anyone that knows about the xbox it usually goes bad uh this is how it looked on this console so i removed that from over there cleaned everything up with some ipa so that's good to go Everything else looks good. If we get this going, I'll probably also put on one, two, four RAM chips, I think. Two on top, two on bottom, and we'll have 128 MB. But yeah, that's the plan. Sorry for not showing you me doing this, but it, it took me almost an hour to just do this part with these resistor and capacitors to make sure that they're all in. It took probably like an hour to solder this back on, so it's, it's a process. It's definitely a process. Um, but yeah, we'll come back once we get those parts. Several days later. Alrighty, so it's been a uh, while. Um, two days. So I got my final parts in. As you see here, we got solder paste on every single um, pad. So basically I was missing the oscillator and a voltage regulator. And my resistors, which I put on, put on my solder paste. So the way I did it was... That's going to be tough. Uh, put it over here. Uh, I kept it in the tube it's in. I have a few tools, but they none seem to work. So I had this guy, I don't know how to use it, and I had that guy, which was too big. So basically, I kept it in the tube, used this tip, and basically just went straight up, straight like that, and small little press. Every few holes, every few pad, and it kind of did well. Anywhere I got stuck, I just kind of cleaned it up and we did the one, so that's the best. I think that area was my best area, and it kind of got kind of wonky, but yeah. So from here, we need to get to this result, which essentially, I'm using a 1.2 chip. So that's my chip. I'm gonna place it on the interposer now, and then float it back down, and hopefully it'll work. So yeah, let's just get to that point, I guess. Alrighty, so this is the final shot before flowing it, essentially can't get it but I should have it lined up properly so that's how it's gonna look and when it flows this alter paste will take on each one of those pins and yeah I'm gonna flow it up to 200 ish and hopefully it'll work so let's find out
um, we got it done. It's back in the case. So this is kind of a close up. So it looks like it's good. So the CPU obviously is that guy. GPU's over there. I tape lines up. So once again, I had a strip going across for the top and a strip going across for the side. Then I taped on the interposer. So it also lines up there. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. To be honest, um, if you if you follow Mr. Computer Booter, you kind of see his process of doing it. He's also not had a lot of success doing it. So that's how I feel with mine. Like I probably don't have <laughs> a lot of chances here, but we'll find out. Oh, oh no. Um, so if you see that, that's essentially it's fragging, which means something in the process there went wrong. What it is, I can't tell you, um, but yeah, not good. Um, I don't know what to do from here with this one, to be honest with you. I do have another motherboard, so what I'm thinking is leaving this one alone for now and starting fresh on that one just because there's a lot of moving variables and parts like it could be could be the cpu could be the interposer could be some one of the balls beneath could be a connection between the interposer and the, the pins i don't know um but yeah that's gonna do it for now um kind of upset that this didn't work because it's a lot of work and it's an annoying process and all that but yeah you know you'll see it as you see it um yeah if you thought this was useful or fun or interesting you know leave a comment down below any questions like comment subscribe hopefully this isn't the end of this cpu upgrade journey this may be the end of this one for now but i do have a few other motherboards i can potentially try on so i'm gonna try a few different processes and see how it goes and i guess you guys will be along for the ride with me but yeah that's it for now i guess see you guys in the next one I can't fall to sleep,